This is Vijay from CLAT 100 and here in this session we are going to discuss all mathematical aptitude questions that were asked in shift 2 of Maharashtra CET 5 year law entrance examination 2023. Here is the first question. How many lines can be drawn to pass through a given point? Even if you have forgotten what you had studied in your school, just put a point and you can observe. Then you can draw as many lines through it as you wish to. So, What's the answer to this? The answer is infinitely many. Running at a speed of 60 km per hour, a train passed through a one and a half km long tunnel in two minutes. What is the length of the train? First of all, the speed of the train is 60 km per hour. So in 60 minutes, it does 60 kilometers. Right? Simple. In two minutes, it will do two kilometers. Isn't that? But in order to cross a tunnel, a train has to go through the length of the tunnel as well as its own length. So it passes through the tunnel in two minutes. All right. And in two minutes, it travels two kilometers. That is 2000 meters. Out of those 2000 meters, the length of the tunnel is one and a half kilometers. That is 1500. So what is the length of the train? the remaining 500 meters isn't it so of course your answer is 500 meters the present ages of a son his mother and his father are 10 years 30 years and 40 years respectively after how many years will the ratio of their ages become 3 is to 7 is to 9 you just needed to take help of the options here one of the options was 5 so after 5 years the age of the son would be 10 plus 5 thereof the mother would be 30 plus 5 and father would be 40 plus 5. This is 15, 35 and 45. So what's the ratio? 5, 3 times 15, 5, 7 times 35, 5, 9 times 45. Isn't that? Let's say it does not strike you to take help of the options. Though that is a sin. How would you do it then? Let's say it happens after x years. So the age of the son after x years would be 10 plus x. Thereof, the mother would be 30 plus x. So first of all, the ratio of these two should be 3 is to 7. This gives you 70 plus 7x is equal to 90 plus 3x, right? So 4x is 20, x is 5. Now putting the value of 5 here, all right, in case of the father's age as well, you can easily see that it gets satisfied. The ratio becomes 3 is to 7 is to 9. So that is how you do it. Your answer is 5 years. What's the value of x in the equation? 3x minus 15 minus 6 equal to 0. This 3x minus 21 is 0. So x is 21 by 3. That is 7. This is your answer. It was a question or a joke. How many two digit numbers are divisible by 4? Here in such questions, many people commit a blunder. I'll tell you about the blunder. The first two digit number to be divisible by 4 would be 12, 16, then 20. It will continue till 96. Okay. This is the third multiple of 4. This is the 24th multiple of 4. So the answer is all the numbers from 3 to 24. But how many numbers are there from 3 to 24? Answer is not 21. The answer is 22. All right. You just need to drop the first two numbers, but many people count it as 21. If I ask you, how many numbers are there from 6 to 10? You cannot say 10 minus 6, 4. Because if you count 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, there are 5 numbers. Alright, if you are asked how many numbers are there from m to n, n is greater than m. Your answer is not n minus m, it's n minus m plus 1. Please keep that in mind. So here... Your answer is not 21, but 22. Hey, how many of you mark 21, by the way? By selling a bicycle at 2850, a shopkeeper makes a profit of 14%. Here, I have a tip for you. Look, this is 14%. This is a multiple of 7, right? Look at 2850. Can I divide it as 2500 plus 350? Isn't it very obvious that 350 is also a multiple of 7? Okay. So, is 14% of 2500, 350? Yes. So, straight away, if you observe this, you realize that the cost price, okay, 
must have been of 2500 so for 8% profit 8% 8 of 2500 would be 200 the selling price would be 2500 plus 200 2700 all right this way it could have been done very fast now there is another thing at a profit of 14 percent the selling price is 2850 profit of 14 percent means 114 percent of the cost price this gives you 2850 but now we want to know what would be the selling price at a profit of 8 percent that is what is 108 percent of the cost price so answer would be 2850 into 108 divided by 114 right 19 6 times 19 1 times 5 times 0 6 25 times so 25 into 108 that is of course 2700 the cost of 12 eggs is 40 look at another joke what is the cost of 3 eggs 3 is 1 fourth of 12 so your answer is 1 fourth of 40 that is 10 isn't that if the sum of two numbers is 16 and the product is 63 then the larger number is this also you can do by hit and trial we'll do it mathematically also don't you worry that's a simple thing of uh, grade 8 all right sum of two numbers is 16 and the product is 63 if the product is 63 the numbers can be 63 and 1 or 9 and 7 or 21 and 3 but in case of 9 and 7 the sum also comes out to be 16 so the larger number is 9 straight away okay and that is how you have to do it in the examination how we used to do it in school x plus y is 16 and x y is 63 so y is 63 by x right and then you will put x plus 63 by x is 16 this reduces to x square minus 16x plus 63 is 0 that is x minus 7 into x minus 9 is 0 and x can be 7 as well as 9 of course of these two the larger number is 9 but this is not to be done because this is wastage of time criminal wastage of time right your answer is 9 now we have put a star mark here because we are not sure if this exactly was the question but it was somewhat similar what is the remainder when the product of 5 7 and 9 is divided by 11 okay can we do it like this 5 into 9 into 7 5 into 9 is 45 that is 44 plus 1 into 7 all right that is 44 into 7 plus 7 now 44 into 7 this is always divisible by 11 because 44 is divisible by 11 so the answer is 7 if this was the question then the answer is 7 and I have a request to you please put the remaining one question that we could not recollect right in the comment section if you can recall the question please put that in the comment section we will solve it for you though I am sure these questions are so very easy that all of you would have been able to solve 10 on 10 please be on our telegram group because your next important examination is slat symbiosis law admission test and we have put lots of content for slat on our telegram group many original papers of 2021 and 2020 as well okay and if you like this effort what stops you from giving us a thumbs up sharing it with your friends and foes subscribing to clat 100 if not done already and pressing the bell icon hard so that we keep you informed and updated. All the best.